Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. And that's no blarney. Okay, that's enough. Well, uh, (laughs) welcome in on this Tuesday morning as uh, we get the podcast underway. Already a video forecast, a webcast, if you will, been posted on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, the new seven-day forecast, not much change there. After a gorgeous day yesterday, an official high of 75 degrees at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened at a little bit after 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And I believe Shane said uh, that was the warmest we've been since October. Wow. It felt good. I know that it was the first day uh, this year that I actually uh, put on shorts and went outside, flip-flops, shorts, kind of a um, a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, me. I did it. I thought, man, it feels good out here. Got with my road buddy, Danny Wilson, over in Glasgow. I had to take him some uh, vinyl. Hey, we're into that. Been into that since I was a kid. Vinyl, albums. 33 and a third RPM, you know, records. Took him some stuff I bought over the weekend. Went over to his uh, place over in Glasgow yesterday afternoon. And uh, we sat and spun some vinyl, turned it up, sat on his porch swings, had some drinks, had some uh, supper, burgers, fries, onion rings, whatever. Man, it was great. It was just like, man, this is, wow, I love this. This is, this is, if I could do this every day, I'd be, it would be just great. But as we all know, this is only March in Southern Kentucky. It's not going to last long. Now things are going to cool down, but it's not going to get colder. And for some reason yesterday, there was a, you know, we get these strange uh, little viral things that, that pop up on social media from time to time, which I absolutely hate. Uh, rumors that get started, hype casts, people spreading around asking questions. Uh, somebody said, you know, there's supposed to be another uh, 20 inches of snow in March. Is that true? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Who's doing that? And then somebody said it was the Farmer's Almanac. and I, I don't know. I don't subscribe to or read the farmer's almanac and you know while it's got that name farmer's almanac and hundreds of years of history of uh you know the almanac and i appreciate that but you know not the same people are running that place that used to run it and so i just don't read too much into that plus you've got to think about the sun's angle is a lot higher the days are a lot longer it's going to be real tough to to do that again this month and here we are halfway through march so any of that stuff you see spreading around social media the internet it's hooey i don't care who attaches who attaches what name to it it's hooey so you know that's not to say we're not going to get cold again and as i mentioned yesterday whatever winter blackberry um linen britches um whatever kind of winter still yet to come we're going to get these shots of colder air and who knows i mean i've seen it snow in april but it it doesn't last long and it's usually flurries so don't buy into all that we're going to get another 20 to 30 inches come on just don't even spread that stuff around and i'd really if you need to ask me okay but this is the time of the year when that stuff's just not going to happen Now, rain, that's a whole different story. And we're going to get some more rain, even though we really don't need it right now. Here's a look at the numbers again. Yesterday, 75, the official high at the airport, 60. The average, that's a 15-degree difference. 38 was the low, 37 uh, the average. That's a 1-degree difference. A year ago, we had a high of 51 and a low of 30. Back in 2014, no precipitation over the past 24 hours. Mostly sunny, breezy, but cooler today, but only about 10 degrees cooler over yesterday. And that is still running 
above average. 65 is what we're calling for today. Now, already on the uh, satellite view this morning, I can see the uh, weak cold front approaching. That cold front's going to make its way through the area about midday. And with that will come an increase in clouds, but I don't think we'll see any rain out of that. Just cloud cover. And it will become breezy. Winds will then shift from the north at about 10 to 15 uh, for the afternoon. You'll notice a, a little bit of a cooler breeze in the air. We're actually starting in the upper 50s to low 60s even this morning at uh, 4.50 a.m. as I record this. So uh, as we get about midday, you'll notice a few more clouds, and then that front will pass but um, about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Tonight, mainly clear, colder. We will get down close to freezing, 33 for an overnight low. And then for Wednesday, becoming mostly cloudy after some morning sunshine, we'll see a high of 58, and the next wave of energy comes through. It's actually an area of low pressure kind of cut off from the main flow. And it's going to throw that energy and moisture our direction by Wednesday night. We're thinking uh, sometime after 9, 10 o'clock in the evening, we'll begin to see rain overspread the area. Well, actually scattered showers at first. But uh, it will be warm enough to keep it all liquid. Rain, 38 for Wednesday night, 55 on Thursday. Good chance of rain all day at 60%, a high of 55 by Friday, some early morning showers, then gradual clearing, a high near 60, we'll say 59, as spring officially begins Friday evening, 5.45 p.m. As we get into Saturday, mostly sunny and a high of 63, that's Ken 10, 15 day on Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. as I explained yesterday. That is the Weather Ready Forum that you can attend on Saturday at the National Corvette Museum. Uh, there, uh, I'm going to post again today the story with the link embedded in the story where you can go and pre-register for this. And registration is required to attend. And there's a small fee that takes care of your registration and also gets you lunch on Saturday from the Corvette Cafe. It's going to be a great day. Weather enthusiasts, the National Weather Service, uh, the First Alert Storm Team, Kentucky Emergency Management, uh, all these people will be gathered, and the general public. This is open to everybody who's interested in weather, weather preparedness. Bring your kids. We're going to have some great demonstrations for the kids. It's going to be an all-day family affair. It's called the Ken 10, that's for Kentucky, Tennessee, Ken 10 15 Weather Ready Forum, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday at the National Corvette Museum. And again, I'm going to post a link where you can register. Uh, it'll be in the main story section of WBKO.com. So be looking for that a little bit later this morning. You just click that link. And it will take you to the website where you can register and all that. You can use PayPal if you have a PayPal account, and you can go ahead and pay online for your registration. We made it pretty easy. So a good day for Ken 10 15, the Weather Ready Forum on Saturday. Sunday, it's going to turn cooler. We'll have another front come through, a mainly dry front. But with it will be another shot of cooler, not colder, but cooler air. 51 will be the high. Monday, mostly sunny. We warm it all the way back to 56. All right, that's going to do it for this St. Patty's Day edition of the uh, podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.